From these fields near the church can be viewed the urban sprawl of modern day Hu. And it was these fields here, situated behind houses along the main road, that again served as another location for the digging of clay for brick making. From this point ran a rail track on which the open clay filled trucks would pass across these fields. Run under the Cockham Road at this point here at the dip in the field and continue on down into what is now part of the Who Marina residential park. A Who Brickfield worker can be seen here about to load a purpose built wheelbarrow. Brick making in Who ceased production at the latter part of the 1930s. Rejoining Vicarage Lane and another more recent housing development. And heading back up Vicarage Lane brings you back into Church Street where you will be presented with this view of Tassel's Cottages built in 1897. And going to the very end of the road next to the churchyard this house stands on the site once occupied by Parsonage Farm which was owned by the Everest family. Church Street ends at the church itself and coming back up, the next point of interest will be what is today the village library, but was originally the infant school, having been built in 1894 after the one in Stoke Road. Further up, on the opposite side of the road, the second public house to be found in the village centre, bearing more than a passing resemblance to Ivy House and dates from the same period. And almost next door, the third of the village centre pubs, the Bridge Tavern. Virtually opposite the bridge, on the corner of Vicarage Lane, many years ago this was a grocer's shop. And again emerging from Church Street and back into the village square, Heading straight over the crossroads rises the steep road which is Bells Lane. Here stands the second place of worship in the village, a Methodist chapel built in 1968 as a replacement to the one in Stoke Road which was demolished. A short distance up from the chapel and further examples of earlier housing. Baker's Terrace which dates from 1884. And at the halfway point up Bells Lane, still under construction here in 1993, is Grandsire Gardens, being built on a site where once stood a row of old council houses known as King's North Terrace. The second of the village's doctor's surgery seen here shortly after completion, beside which stands a pair of cottages 
being all that now remains of King's North Terrace. One is the village dentist, whilst the other remains as a residence. The old King's North Terrace may be seen here as the carnival parade passes by. Upon reaching the top of Bells Lane, a panoramic view of the River Medway is afforded. <laughs> 